That's so brilliant. This video is sponsored by Case Filters. my friends very nice to see you I'm still in the Dolomites and we had a heat wave last week so this is the reason why I drove over to an area of up in the Swiss estate on the campsite there and because I wasn't sure how the weather would turn out after this heat wave and now uh, yeah it looks that we will get rain today a little bit hopefully not all too much um, I thought it's a good idea maybe to photograph a waterfall here in the area of Tresime uh, the only problem I have is I thought I would go a shuttle bus up. Uh, yeah, that's not the case. So I have to hike up, I think, two and a half hours and it is already 2 p.m. And, and that's not good because I'm not sure if I will, yeah, I will have enough time up there to work on compositions. Yeah, we will see. As always, any possibility. Uh, let's see what's possible here. already a waterfall. I think this is not the, the, the final one. There's uh, another one, a bigger one, a better one, a more beautiful one. <laughs> I'm not sure. A little bit more up there. But anyway, I think I, I like this one. Although it's quite busy here, I have to say. We have lots of rocks here. I mean, it's always good to have some rocks to use them as a foreground. But uh, yeah, I, I struggle really to, to find a, a working composition. What I do is I, I use this rock here. I, 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 I look for, for rocks that uh, a little bit similar from the shape. So like that white one here, that red one there, white one there and so on. We make a curve here and we have this amazing waterfall back there. The light is bad at the moment, but when you look up there, that's clear sky up there. I hope you can see that. We have clouds there and a little bit clouds there. I think it's a, a thing of maybe two minutes or so and then we will have shadow. I, I had a little bit shadow before, so I, I was not able to find out uh, yeah, um, which shutter speed I need. Uh, what, 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 I, what, I, what I saw is I need a, a neutral density filter. I put on my free stop ND and I will compensate that uh, quickly with, an eye, with, uh, with uh, uh, increasing my ISO uh, or maybe lowering it, whatever I need to get the right shutter speed. I think maybe just out from, from a storm edge, I would say, maybe that tenth of a second or so for the water back there. But the pool down there needs a little bit longer because yeah, the water is, uh, yeah, I want to have it a little bit more flat here. I'm not sure, I will try for that. And I'm not sure before I had, I think, two minutes or so uh, for getting shadow. So the next two minutes with shadow, I will try to take the shot. And then we will look up to the next waterfall. It is so tricky here, it is absolutely amazing. We always have a little cloud up there uh, for two seconds or so. This was already three times the case. And I tried a little bit, I tried to expose, and I think I ended up now with an eighth of a second. It works with the entire frame here, so I will not have to, to stitch them in Photoshop or to, yeah, to, make, to uh, bracket them, to blend them in uh, Photoshop. And I would say, yeah, uh, circular polarizer is also on, um, eighth of a second, I mentioned already, ISO 250, I think. I'm not sure of the photo right now. up a little bit higher and uh, there are so many little cascades down there it's so so fantastic I would like to go down there but yeah it's a, a bit uh, too steep to be honest I will try it a little bit more up there hopefully I have any possibility to get down there and uh, 
Yeah, I think there will also come a thunderstorm and a lightning a little bit later. It is totally crazy. I mentioned it already in my previous videos, in so many videos already. The weather is so tricky to predict at the moment. It's changing so fast. We have clear sky, we have a little bit of overcast and <laughs> thunderstorm. It is crazy, really. <laughs> gets more and more easier to control it gets a little bit darker already and uh, I found one more composition I got attracted by that waterfall by that cascade here in the foreground it looks really pretty good it's asymmetric so it leans a little bit to the left and this gives this kind of dynamic in this image and I really like that we have more cascades back there we have lots of wet rocks lots of uh, spraying water it's really really fantastic um, I'm at uh, ISO 200 F14 an eighth of a second works best here. I have a circular polarizer on, same as before. I don't need a neutral density filter again. It's darker again. It's really good. And yeah, I would say, let's make the click. Crazy, really. Let's look here. We have this amazing waterfall back there, crashing down from the rocks. We have this pool down there. We have this amazing line leading that back to the waterfall. We have this dead wood down there, but leads a little bit from the uh, left bottom corner. And we have this uh, nice orange uh, rock here, what uh, yeah frames our image a little bit. And I really, really like that. It's <laughs> so fantastic. I don't have words there for it. Make the click. at the moment but there's one trip one adventure I want to experience here in the Dolomites I'm waiting already for multiple weeks and I think maybe in two or three days from now it could work so what we will do right now is we will drive down to a campsite near here we'll stay there and 
and fingers crossed uh, if, if the video will come I will link it here for you it will get amazing really my friends I hope you enjoyed this video if yes please give me a thumb up don't forget to do it next week that became a fantastic video as well and thank you so much for watching see you next time bye